This just shows very quickly how to find critical values in the t-table. How do you know when you use the t-table? Remember all our other examples, we did not have the population, or we had the population standard deviation. For small sample sizes, less than 30, or you do not know the population standard deviation, then you actually have to look your critical values up in a t-table. So these aren't too bad, and so if I click on this icon, it says the confidence level 0.95, so I see that at the top. The sample size 18, you have to be careful, this is the degrees of freedom, which is one less than the sample size, so it would be 17, and we would get 2.110, 2 .10 hundredths, thousandths. Um, the actual, if you see an actual table, Sometimes they don't have that level of confidence, but that's okay because if it's a confidence interval that we're interested in, that would be area in the two tails. So two tails, if it's 95%, would be 5%. And as you can see, we had what sample size of 18. If I go to degrees of freedom 17, I get the same answer.